Hey guys, welcome to my first video in my fitness challenge series. So, the other day I signed up for a Krav Maga uh, martial, mixed martial arts fitness challenge. It's six weeks long and I will be, I just started on Monday and today is Wednesday, so I've gone twice. So what I'm going to be doing is going every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the next six weeks. I'm planning on doing a vlog for probably once a week. Just kind of covering my experience, any changes I experience, how I'm feeling, my meals. So this will basically be just me talking and then also showing my meals and stuff like that. Um, the reason why I actually wanted to sign up for this fitness challenge is not your typical reason. I think I find that most people who sign up for fitness challenges or they go to the gym or whatever, like they just uh, sign up for something that's fitness related, they usually either want to lose weight or gain muscle and that was not my goal. Um, neither of those things was my goal for this. I just want to have the experience and that's really the number one reason like if I lose some weight or tone up great I'm not going to not welcome that at all like that's great but that's totally not why I wanted to sign up for this basically a challenge should be carried through for the challenge itself um, and you're doing something that's difficult and you just push through it and you become this person that you never knew you were like you already are a strong person you you can do anything you want and you would never know if you don't challenge yourself so when I saw I saw like an advertisement for it and I was just like yes that's what I want to do um, Really, I just want to feel what it feels like to show up for something that's difficult. And we should be doing this every day in our work, in our passions, in our schooling, whatever that may be. Whatever we want to do, we should be showing up fully for it. And this just gives me some accountability. Um, you know, you pay for it. It's not, I mean, it's not that much money, but it was enough money to be like, you definitely want to go um, so that you don't feel like you're wasting your money. Everyone is going to be there every time, and so you help to keep each other accountable. You don't want to disappoint yourself. You don't want to feel like you're disappointing other people. So it's really like this team thing. Sorry if that's loud. I don't know how much you can hear outside, but there's like cars going by. There was like a flying bug out there. I had to flick it off the window. Um, but yes, so, so showing up, I really just wanna be kept accountable for showing up for something that's difficult. So I think just that experience of the challenge, waking up early is another thing for me. Just waking up early is gonna be a challenge for me, not let alone you know, going there and working out really hard for an hour um three days a week for six weeks um eating well during the off times when you're not working out obviously um which i've been doing i'm well versed in eating well yeah that's really why i wanted to do it it's the journey itself that i really wanted to experience it's not i don't hope to there's nothing motivating me at the end like i'm not motivated by a result and I think that actually helps to keep you motivated because when you're motivated by a result and you don't see it right away, it's very easy to stop. Um, so yeah, I'm not motivated by a result. I'm motivated by the journey itself and the challenge of getting up in the morning and going and showing up. And that is just what you do in everyday life regardless if what you're doing. You should be waking up and showing up every single day. So. Yes, I will um, vlog my experience probably once a week. That's what I'm aiming for. And really I wanted to show you the meals that I'm eating as well because they did want us to do um, a paleo meal plan, which I've done a few years ago. 
Um, I've been into paleo since 2012 slash 13. Um, so I've done that, but I guess this will kind of give me a push to kind of get more aligned with real food rather than processed foods. Cause lately I still eat, you know, I eat gluten free. I eat mostly paleo, but I could be eating more so real food. Um, and especially after I moved, it's not, it shouldn't be that difficult. So um, I'll be showing you my meals and if I eat out, that's fine too. I'll show you that too. Um, let me show you my refrigerator right now because I just went shopping. I just got some food and I don't have like a whole, I have a meal plan, but I'm not going to follow it um, because I don't do well on meal plans. It's, it's too much up here and I just need to go with the flow of life rather than um, planning so heavily my ingredients and stuff like that. I don't like to do that anymore. So um, I just kind of bought some food and I'm just gonna make whatever out of it. So let me show you my refrigerator. So this is my fridge and we just moved in so it's very clean. This is not mine. This we're giving away to friends. I don't know, I don't like alcohol, I don't drink it. Um, so we drink a lot of this this crystal geyser sparkly water and over here we also have a uh, fresh spring water from a local spring so we drink that as well and here we have cold brew from Whole Foods and this modern times cold brew as well we drink this in the morning time and then we have this Capello's grain free uh, paleo friendly nochi it's made out of mostly uh, almond flour and like egg yolk and stuff like that. And then we have pasture raised eggs, which we have not eaten any of yet. Um, so in the morning times for sure we eat that. And then we have salsa, fresh salsa from Whole Foods and mango chunks. And then we have some cheese in here, Monterey Jack, and then some grass fed cheddar we have some ground bison from the honest bison and then this is our veggie stuff we don't uh buy too many veggies at once because i don't like them to spoil um so we have local persian cucumbers we have an onion in here i don't know what this is doing in there that can go right there um we have cilantro and then we have some asparagus that's it so we live close to a bunch of food places um, to buy groceries, so we just buy them fresh like within two to three days of using it. So that's all that's in my fridge. It's very little because we go shopping very often. Um, I also have some grass fed butter here. Um, yeah, I like to keep my fridge super empty actually. And then we have the freezer. So. Here we have some organic grapes that I just put in there and because I love eating frozen grapes. It's like my favorite thing. And then we have a bunch of Honest Bison meat. So we got this shipped to us from the Honest Bison. Here's um, ground bison. And then we have, what is this? Italian breakfast sausage. So it's like a breakfast, ground breakfast sausage. Um, that's ground bison back there as well. Here is onion and leek bratwurst. And let's see here. Bison Italian breakfast sausage. So we have two breakfast sausages, uh, three ground bisons, this one, another Italian breakfast sausage, more sausage, bratwurst, that's a uh, cheddar and jalapeno. And then this is fajita strips, bison fajita strips. And then we have some bison steak patties. So for like um, burgers and stuff. So that's all the meat we have and that should last us for quite some time because we don't need to eat meat every single day. Are you okay? My leg fell asleep with me. You spend way too much time on the toilet. <laughs> One thing that I think a lot of people 
don't realize is that you don't need you don't need meat every single day you could eat meat every single day but you don't need it especially if you have really good quality stuff a lot of people think that buying good quality meat is really expensive but when you think about it I, I mean maybe if you're cooking for a family or something that's that's a lot of meat but if you're just like one person or two people um, then you could get away with just eating you know a pound of meat between the two of you for like two days so that's like a quarter pound a day right you could even get away with eating less than that um, and just saving it and then you don't actually need it every single day so you could potentially stretch that pretty far like the the amount of meat we have back there you could you could stretch that pretty far and um, you could do lots of different things with it that keep in the fridge for you know a few days but um yeah it's really not that much more expensive considering the health implications and the fact that you don't need it every single meal every single day like why do you need that much meat it's not totally necessary so if you're like you know budgeting then you could definitely stretch it um if you don't have to budget if you're like kind of if you're not really worried about it then great whatever um i'm obviously not talking about you but <laughs> yeah so that is what's in my fridge I'll show you some of my pantry too. We have some blue corn sea salt from Jackson's Honest. This is made with coconut oil. And then we have some avocado oil barbecue chips. And then we have like cassava flour and rice in here. Some tomato sauce. Some enchilada sauce. Coconut oil. Um, I have my olive oil here. And the spices. So, yeah. That's it. And then we have some, yeah, we ate these all today. Um, these are baked by Melissa gluten-free cupcakes, and they're so delicious. And yes, that's sugar, but, like, I don't, I'm not as addicted to sugar emotionally as I used to be. So, this is fine for me. Um, I wouldn't recommend just munching on sugar all day, but that those are really good. So that's, that's all I care about. It's really good. Um, yeah, so that's it. We're like, what's in the kitchen and fridge? And I will be updating you on kind of what I'm eating, some of the meals I cook, and how I'm feeling about this challenge. And I'm really excited, super duper excited, really. After only two days of it, I'm... I feel so energized and I went months without working out for a while and just two days of working out and I'm like, I feel great. I'm a little sore. I'm actually really, really sore, but it feels good. So, yep, I will keep you guys updated and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon.